Our next speaker is Malcolm Barnard, who is a Cox Conserves hero and has been helping his environment around his home in Johns Creek. People always ask me how I got started with my interest, my dream of helping to save the environment. It's been a very long journey, the journey of following my dream. I, found, I first found my love for nature when I was young, since I, when I was spending some time on Tybee Island, Georgia with my grandparents. I was in the tidal pools and I was picking up and playing with sea life, as you can see in here. here um, and and I was amazed at the, at the serenity and the biodiversity of the nature in the intertidal zone. And, and that is really where it got my interest started. And that is, when my, uh, that is when I started to follow my dream. Uh, step one to following your dream is to, uh, is to find and, and set goals. And the whole point of this is to decide what you want to achieve on your way to following your dream. To, and to complete following your dream. Because no one can ever finish following your dream. It's always a process. It's, and my personal goals are helping to save the environment and helping to improve water quality. And, and, uh, because, and water quality is very, very important to all life because clean water is, is a necessity for every living thing. And don't be too far-fetched with your goals because, uh, and start small and also create mile markers such as uh, choose little projects that build up to bigger projects. And celebrate when you, when you reach one of those mile markers because it's always a great achievement to know that you do something towards uh, following your dream. And don't rush your set deadlines because unexpected events uh, can easily uh, push forward or uh, pull back the date that you're going to uh, successfully uh, uh, achieve the mile marker. And therefore, be flexible. Uh, my, my current goal that I'm working on is the Johns Creek Community Wildlife Habitat Project. And as a leader of the wildlife team, well, now a leader of the wildlife team, I started the project in eighth grade when I was researching the National Wildlife Federation and the community and their certified wildlife habitat program, there, as of right now, there are only 55 in the entire nation community wildlife habitats in the entire nation. And, and I thought that this particular program would be great for my community. So I approached my city's government and organized a team of wildlife leaders, of environmental leaders in my community. We, uh, and applied for registration with the National Wildlife Federation. The, there are multiple goals of my project. The main one is to is to help uh, educate the, the importance of, of planning and, and sustaining natural habitats for wildlife in, in uh, throughout the community, in uh, public places, in individual backyards, and uh, this is done through educational workshops. 
about about these topics, and also partnerships with organiza uh, community organizations and schools. Um, and another goal is to promote conservation and, and encourage people to uh, work with conservation in a healthy environment. And I'm doing this through local uh, pro I'm helping local projects such as the uh, community garden or the Jones Creek Greenway. I've helped them plan it, it uh, plan those projects to be sustainable, environmentally friendly. Another goal is to promote the importance of conservation with the youth. And I've done this by helping to certify schools with the National Wildlife Federation. So far, 10 schools have been certified with the National Wildlife Federation and local schools. And uh, my goal is to have all local schools certified because 35% um, of the residents in my community are under the age of 19. That means that they need to, we need to have a bigger voice in the community and more role in conservation and all that starts or it's education. Uh, step two to following your dream is to find great mentors. Up there I have uh, my first mentor, Jerry Hightower, of the National Park Service. He is a ranger. Um, and he's the one who told me to go to find what I love and go volunteer. This is some of the best advice I've ever gotten from anybody. And following his advice, I started volunteering at places such as the Chattanooga Nature Center, the Tiger Army Science Center, and also for the Park Service. Um, and I try and get other kids in, in my community to volunteer also. Kids from my high school help plant the John Street Greenway as well as help out with the Park Service events. And, um, Mr. Hightower became the first, my first of many great mentors. Um, mentors can be anyone from an expert in the field like Jerry Hightower to great school teachers. Um, in, my, in my high school, many of the science teachers have been great mentors to me regard, regarding my water quality research. Which, and they have listened to my ideas they have, and, and given me great suggestions, helped me refine my, technique, my testing techniques, and also provided overall support for my efforts. They, and remember that listening to your mentors is they can and uh, they, you can learn stuff from them that are not found in books or anywhere else for that matter. Step three, the following goal is never, never, never give up. This, this is a quote from uh, Winston Churchill. Oh, um, and it, it's also uh, backed up by scientific evidence. It's, uh, Newton's third law of physics is for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. There are always opposing forces, is, and that is even more the reason why you need to never give up. When I, when I started getting science fair with my water quality research, I kept on making mistakes, I kept on messing up. I didn't quit though, and now I'm working on, I'm researching a, a possible solution to uh, pollution in lakes and also possibly rivers and it's and it so never give up and when you do make a mistake don't stop just pick yourself back up and go and learn from it that is a true sign of success i've also had a couple i've been working on my project for two years in the community and i've come across multiple uh, oppositions. And so the first one was I had to learn how to who, con uh, contact adult organizations and also apply for grants. As a, as a finalist for 2011 in the Cox and Serves Heroes Award, I received a grant that is allowing uh, us to have a to start a new program branching off of, of as part of my project it, uh, that allows it was, uh, it's going to allow schools to apply for grants for environmental education for students and teachers, as well as um, maintain and create uh, outdoor classrooms, since education is, the main, is one of the main goals of our project. Which it, the goals are uh, education, conservation, and continuation. Education is uh, educating the community, 
uh, conservation is preserving wildlife habitats in continuation. It's getting other people, rallying other people to go to help the environment. And an another uh, challenge I had was educating the community about my project. So I decided to create a website. So I went, I took a class in school on on uh, web design, and then I created a website with a community calendar, uh, native plant list. Is, uh, that's locally available for my community, as well as many other features that help spotlight my community wildlife. And things won't always go your way. It's, it's, it just happens. Mistakes are made. It, uh, things don't go the way you want. You, know, you fail a test. You fail a quiz. It's just life. Things happen. And, um, but again, just pick yourself back up after doing that. Because in, with determination, you can know that the next one will be better. And now it's time for you guys to go and follow your dream. Along with perseverance, you only you need determination, mentors, and a vision. And with those, you can successfully follow your dream and make a difference in whatever you pursue. Everyone can make a difference. So go out there and follow your dream. Very much for that. And again, these three goals were set goals, find great mentors, and never ever ever give up.